London Irish today confirmed they'd pulled off quite a coup as they hosted a press conference to reveal the signing of an Australian superstar. In light of having had his Wallabies contract terminated for a string of off-field incidents, James O'Connor has arrived on British soil to work under the tutelage of head coach and fellow Aussie Brian Smith, who's in no doubt as to the importance of signing such a world-class player. Any team in this league uh, would be delighted to have him. I think um, he's an asset not just for London Irish, but I think he's an asset for the game in this country. Um, we've got him signed up until the end of this season. Um, from a London Irish point of view, I'd really like him to, to be here for this season and beyond. Um, but I guess um, as an Australian as well, I see James as a, as a player at 23 years old. You know, he's, he's got 40 test caps already. I genuine, genuinely believe he could go on and be the most capped Wallaby of all time. So I guess we would like to play a part in uh, James, James's rugby future. And uh, the, the deal for James while he's here is he's going to put his head down and help us win some, some rugby matches. I guess I'll uh, just start with, I'd uh, like to take the opportunity. Um, such a, it's an awesome opportunity for me to you know, be involved with London Irish. Um, you know, first things first, uh, I started talking to Smitty um, probably a month ago, just over, and you know, straight away I think we connected quite well, and um, I guess the style of play that I've seen from London Irish and I guess their culture, I know they're a very sort of family-based club and uh, very orientated on that form. Uh, I think it's you know, the next step in, uh, in my life that I need right now. I'm not going to lie, I've made many mistakes and that's how I've sort of got myself into this position. Um, but look, I, I'd like to take a positive out of it. Um, you know, I've drawn a line in the sand and I want to think about the future now. Um, obviously, the spring tour was taken out of my hands and you know, uh, I guess it's going to be tough you know, watching the boys uh, play on the weekend, but I'll definitely be at the game supporting them. Um, I'll look where I am right now in my life. I think this is the best thing for me to move forward and you know, that's, that's what I'm working on, I guess. You know, London Irish has given me a second chance and I'll take that and uh, you know, I don't want to be, well, I guess I want to be talked about playing my rugby and, uh, and that's it. So this opportunity now is for me to just knuckle down and play some rugby and uh, some quality rugby is what I'm looking forward to. And what about the fact that the club have been more towards the bottom of the Premiership table than towards the top? What appeals to you about coming to a club that maybe haven't had the success that others have had in the last few years? Uh, opportunity, you know. Um, there's a there's an opportunity for me to look, step into a position and uh, really help you know take the club forward. Um, I guess. Maybe he's Irish. Maybe he's O'Connor. <laughs> Somewhere about. My granddad was my granddad was pretty happy. Well, who else is he going to play for? He's Irish. <laughs> While he plays in England, he plays for us. Sounds good to me. O'Connor will be straight into the London Irish side with a huge home game on Sunday against second place Northampton Saints.